Associate Professor at Ankara Haji Bayram Bali University. Professor, great to have you here with us on TRT World. Let's talk about President Erdogan's visit to Iraq and Erbil. This is the first time he has visited uh, the country in 13 years. Uh, why now? What, what would you like to say about the timing of this visit? Thank you, Jafar. Yes, uh, it's an important milestone in the Turkey-Iraq relations, but also in the regional dynamics in nowadays. I think his timing is vital in terms of the first uh, as we remember a few months ago, President Erdogan pointed there will be an upcoming uh, a new operation, land operation by Turkey regarding the fighting against terrorism. And this will be the last stage of the Turkey, Turkey's operation, as well as they completed the peaceful uh, roadways for the uh, development road plan with the Iraq. So in this respect, we can expect that, that this is a timing that the both countries will join efforts in the fighting against terrorism, but it will be only the beginning of the, a new and the huge plan for both countries and also global and regional new trade roads. Right, and apart from uh, counter-terrorism efforts, uh, because it's clear that both uh, Turkey and Iraq have uh, joined uh, efforts, like you said, when it comes to fighting a PKK terrorist organization. But apart from that, uh, many other topics were discussed. And one uh, that really stood out for me was this development road project. A lot of emphasis was given uh, to this uh, during the meeting. What exactly is it and how is it going to reinforce the relationship between Turkey and Iraq? And also, how is it going to help the region? Well, actually, the first agreement was signed in last year's summer between the Turkey and Iraq. And later on, within the one year, two countries have been prepared the, the, the some uh, facilitation of these the subsectors regarding with these the uh, road plan. I think it's important to point that uh, these development road, if when it comes to the effective after the 2025, when the first stage of these the bus report construction will be completed as the largest port in the Middle East. It created a most uh, less uh, less costly trade route compared to the uh, the trade route that exhibited in the last year G20. And I think the second important point of this the development road plan it's not only it won't only change the regional trade route but it's also changed the global trade routes uh, compared to the previous ones and it created a new way both bringing to. Uh, Asia Pacific to Europe in a different way, as well as also the Gulf uh, uh, Gulf products to the Europe as well, including the energy sector too. Right now, uh, Professor, looking at the bigger picture, dozens of MOUs uh, were signed uh, between the two countries as part of President Erdogan's visit uh, to the country, and we also heard the president say that uh, this means uh, our relationship has entered a new era. I wonder, would it be fair to say that the relationship between Iraq and Turkey, especially after the visit of President Erdogan to the country, is stronger than ever before? I think so, because uh, especially Iraq has been experienced a very tough time since the 2001, the American invasion to Iraq and later Arab Spring they experienced. And I think since this, the, uh, all these agreements, road development plan and the joint efforts against the terrorism created a new positive agenda between the two countries. And it will reflect the short, middle and the long term of the not only the mutual relations, but also bilateral and the multilateral relations within the region. Professor Shuai Nilhan Achikalin, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time.